Hi, I'm Dave from Hector Smokehouse and today I'm going to be making a garlic Lebanese sauce called Tomb. Hi, I'm Dave from Hector Smokehouse and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making something a little bit different, it's going to be another condiment. This one is called Tomb, it's a Lebanese garlic sauce. I actually only found out about this probably um, a month ago and it's been life changing. This is the most unbelievable garlic sauce that I've ever made. It ends up very similar to a mayonnaise, but it's got 40 cloves of garlic in there. That's right, probably four to five bulbs actually in this sauce of garlic. And in the, in the sauce, all you've got is um, a neutral oil, such as peanut oil or sunflower oil. You've got some lemon juice, a little bit of salt, and then 40 cloves of garlic. But the flavor of this garlic is incredibly intense. It is beautiful. Lasts in the fridge for about four weeks. It's fantastic in things like um, kebabs or pita breads, those type of things, but also works well with any type of meat and also really good if you're doing some roast vegetables, putting into the roast vegetables. You can also add it to mayonnaise and have a garlic mayonnaise, more like an aioli. But this stuff is absolutely wonderful and it is incredibly intense. So what I'll do is quickly go through some of the ingredients that are in this tomb. So the recipe for this tomb is extremely simple, but there's quite a bit of work involved. So in the tomb, you've got three cups, three to four cups of a neutral oil. In this case, I'm using a peanut oil, but obviously people with allergies won't be wanting to use that. So you can use something like sunflower oil, something that's neutral. You don't want to be using olive oil, too much flavor. So it's going to be three to four cups of the oil. And as you're actually doing this and make, making it and it emulsifies, you'll start to see how many cups you need, depending on how, how it actually starts to firm up. It's going to be between three and four cups. We're going to have half of a cup of lemon juice in there as well. And we're going to have around about 40 cloves of garlic. And these are gonna take a little bit of work. There's two parts to this. One is actually taking the skin off all of them, which is very laborious and takes a long time. Um, I'm gonna show you a little trick using two metal tubs to shake them. It makes a lot of noise, but actually works quite well and takes the skins off. The other part to this is we're actually going to slice in half every single piece of the garlic. And what we're looking for is that little shoot that sits inside. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's not, it's quite small. And we're gonna take that out of every single one of them. That takes away the bitter taste that's actually in the garlic. So it's gonna be quite important that we do that. So there's quite a bit of work in there. And then also we've got two teaspoons of salt. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to use a food processor so I've got a Kenwood food processor. We're going to use the food processor. And the first step is to mix the garlic and the salt together. And we're gonna try and puree it. So we're going to mix it, scrape it from the sides, mix it, scrape it from the sides. And then we're gonna put into the mixture, the oil and the lemon. But we're gonna do this in small amounts. So we're going to drizzle in, um, say, a teaspoon of the lemon juice and then half a cup of the olive oil then another teaspoon of lemon juice and half a cup of the olive oil. This is really important to make so, sure that this emulsifies properly and doesn't split. So you've got to do this, it's quite a long time. And the actual process with the food processor maybe takes around about 10 or 15 minutes. So there's quite a lot of work involved actually getting this to work. But out of there, you end up with a huge container of the tomb and the tomb will last you around about four weeks. So you're gonna be able to use it on everything. So it's something you're going to make once and then you're gonna get a lot of use out of. So let's get on with it and let's actually make the tomb. So what we're going to do first of all is take the um, garlic bulb and we're gonna give this a bit of a crush. So we're just going to put some weight onto it and try to break it up into all the individual Gloves. Going to take off a little bit of the, little bit of the skin as much as we can, and throw them into, into these tubs, into these metal containers. Each garlic 
And Bulbies has around about 10 or 11 cloves in there. So I've already put some in there already. Just throw some of these in. So we're going to put them in there. And as I say, this is a bit of a laborious job, but this is a good little tip for doing this. So what I'm going to do is in there, you can see the garlic bulbs. There's around about 20 in there at this moment, 22 somewhere around there. So what I'm going to do is take another, take another um, metal mixing bowl. I'm going to put them together and then I'm going to shake them. So I'm not going to be able to show you this very easily, but what I'm going to do is shake them and you'll hear the noise. And the idea of that is it's supposed to take about 20 seconds. But what you can see is some of the garlic has already started to peel. So you can see these pieces here that have already started to peel and come off. And they're already actually got the skin taken off them. So you're going to carry on shaking this and adding more cloves until I've got around about 40 cloves of garlic. Again, you can see in there a lot of them have actually started to peel. So I'll carry on doing this until I've got 40 cloves of garlic in there. So I took a few minutes, it wasn't too bad. Um, you can see all of the garlic cloves in there. So there's around about 40, 45 garlic cloves in there. So there's quite a lot of them. So it took about five or 10 minutes, five minutes probably, um, to actually do them. So the next step is a bit laborious. So this is what I talked about where you're actually um, slicing these and you're going to remove the middle part. So what we do is we just take the garlic clove, slice it in half, and in there you will see the little bit of what ends up being um, a, a, a sprout coming through. You can see it more there. So you can see it there. And you're trying to take that little piece out and the bottom off as well. And then you've got to do this for every single one of these. Some of them, if your garlic's old, you're actually going to see the green sprout in there. But with young, fresh garlic, you're not really going to see it. So you can see it inside there. Just take it off. And it just removes some of the bitterness in the tomb and the sauce. So I didn't know whether this actually worked or not, but I can tell you, um, after I did it last time, it was well worth that little bit of extra work and effort to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just carry on going through these, cutting them in half and removing that shoot from the middle. Okay, we'll be back soon. Okay, so we're on to the final part of making the tomb. In the food processor, I've now got the 40 cloves of garlic, which have been sliced in half and removed the sprout. So the first thing we're going to do is add two teaspoons of salt into there and we're going to blend these. Now the idea is we're going to blend them several times. We're going to blend it, push it down at the sides, blend it, push it down at the sides, blend it, push it down at the sides several times. Um, and then once we're happy with that and we've got a reasonably good garlic puree, then we start adding the lemon juice. So we've got half a cup of lemon juice and we're going to put in a teaspoon or so of lemon juice at a time. And we're going to add about half a cup of the peanut oil at the uh, individually at the same time. And we're going to drizzle that in. So it's going to be quite a long process to actually get this to work. So the first stage is just to blitz this up. So um, I've got it on number two and away we go. So you can see that's the first pass of trying to blitz it. And you can see it's broken into lots of pieces. Just want to scrape down the sides, get everything off the edges. And we're trying to make it somewhere to a paste. It's not going to be perfect paste, but we want it to be well and truly mashed up and blended down. So we'll just scrape those little bits off. 
We'll put that back in. We'll turn it on and we'll go again. So as I said, we'll do this several times. Just keep scraping it down until we've got it to a reasonable consistency and it's broken down pretty well. And you'll see it reduce, release a lot of the, the moisture from the garlic. It's already starting to go that way. So the moisture it gets, the more difficult this becomes because it's starting to stick to the sides. But just make sure it's all off the edges. And then we'll go again. So we've now minced up the garlic, done that several times, fastened it down. And what we're going to do now is start to do the mixture. Now, what we have in here is if you actually look in this, in the middle there, there's a small hole. Um, so what you can do is you can pour your liquids into there and then they'll drizzle in through to enable the emulsification to take place. So what we'll do is start off with a tiny amount of lemon and then we're going to add the peanut oil, around about half a cup at a time, and around about one teaspoon of, um, one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of lemon oil, uh, lemon each time, and we're gonna alternate. And the alternation helps with making sure that this emulsifies properly, because otherwise you may have problems. So what we'll do is we'll turn it on. So we're just putting a little bit into there. And now we'll do about half a cup. And we'll let the oil drizzle into there. We're gonna to have to give it a bit of a shake. Um, and obviously it's stuck to the sides at the beginning. So what we're gonna to have to do is drain that in. And then I'm gonna to have to keep wiping the sides down. So we'll have to just take that off, wipe the sides down, move things into the middle. And then we'll have to go again. So it takes a bit of time before it actually starts to emulsify properly and taking it off those sides. So we'll just have to keep wiping it down a little bit. It's nice and liquidy. And we'll keep mixing it. Then we'll go again, another tiny little bit of lemon juice. So not a lot of lemon juice. And then we're gonna start adding the peanut oil again. So a little bit of peanut oil. You can give this a bit of a shake. And then what we're gonna do is take it out and start to scrape it down again. So it's alternation, going one to the other, one to the other. So we'll just wait till this is nearly all gone. That should be just about all gone. And in there you can actually see the paste now starting to form. I'll just put that there for a second. So if I take that out, you can see the paste now starting to form. So this is the beginning of the tomb. So again, we're gonna just take the sides down and clean the sides off. Make sure this is well, well and truly mixed around. And we're just gonna keep adding the liquids into there. See where we're gonna go down. So we'll just move that out of the way. Put that down into there. Tap the bits off. We'll then put this back on again. And we'll start it off again. Tiny bit more lemon juice. Doesn't need a great deal. And then we're gonna put in another half a cup of the peanut oil and let that blend into there. 
And you're going to keep doing this, and it's going to take a little bit of time to, to do this. There's probably 10, 15 minutes worth of work. So what I'll do is, I'll keep doing this, alternating, alter, alternating between um, the lemon and the peanut oil. And we'll just keep adding it and adding it. And what you'll see is it's starting to change consistency now. We'll just let this last one go, and then I'll show you with the overhead camera um, what it looks like now. So I think we'll just turn that off again. We'll just put that underneath there again, so any leftover can go into there. So you can actually see it in there. You can see the, what it's doing. It's just like a very thin garlic paste at the moment. But what we want to do is keep it going and emulsifying and eventually it'll start to thicken up. Once you've got round about that three, three and a half cups in there, it'll start to emulsify and thicken up. So we'll just keep going with this and I'll show you it again in another five minutes and show you what it's like at that point. So you can see now it's actually starting to firm up and turning into a bit like a you know, fair mayonnaise type of consistency. So it's really thickened up. So again, just keeping those sides scraped down, you know, making sure you scrape the bottom, scrape everything off the sides. And this is getting very close now. I think I'm really close to around about three cups. Um, so I think I'm very close to three cups, which is about 750 mil of that and you can see it's really thickened up nicely. I've got a little bit more lemon to go so I'm going to add a little bit more lemon into there but what I'll also do is give it a quick test. Oh, That is mind-blowing. It is the best garlic sauce you'll ever eat in your life. It's stunning. I can't explain the flavors. It's got some heat in there. Um, it's got the lemon flavor. It is unbelievable. I'm gonna add some more lemon into here um, to sort of finish it off. So we'll do probably one more lot and then I think we're about there. It's getting nice and thick and it needs to be at that thick consistency like a mayonnaise. So it's very close now. So that's the last of the lemon and we've been putting that in around about a teaspoon at a time, the half a cup. We've let it drizzle out and you can see it's drizzled out of there and then we had roughly half a cup of the peanut oil and I think this time that's going to be enough peanut oil. I think I am getting on for around about, I think I'm around about three cups so 750 millilitres is roughly in there. It's thickening up nicely, and you can see what this is doing. It's just allowing it to drizzle into there very slowly with that hole in the bottom. It saves me having to do all of the work. But I think we're very close now, and this should be finished after this one. And then I've got a nice tub to put it in, airtight tub. And the idea is you can leave it in the airtight tub for up to four weeks. Although the flavor will start to, the garlicky flavor will drop off towards the end. Let's have a look. I'll just check that. That's empty. Okay, let's have a look and see what this looks like. Whoa. That looks pretty good. Look at the consistency on there. It's holding onto the blade and there's a good, thick consistency there. That is perfect. That is perfect. I'm very, very, very happy with that. So this is it, this is the tomb complete. This is the garlic sauce and you can see from the consistency, it is wonderful. Look at the color, it's white, it sticks to the spatula. So it's got a great thick consistency like a mayonnaise, but without the rest of the issues that are in the mayonnaise. This is absolutely delicious. Um, I'll just try a little bit off the spoon. So this is the tomb. It is mind-blowing. I cannot tell you how good that is. The flavor of the garlic is intense. You get that kick of heat in there as well, and the lemon flavor. 
It is unbelievably good. And this is fantastic on lots of different things. And um, what I'm doing with it today is I'm actually making a shish tawuk, which is a chicken kebab. The recipe is up at the top for the shish tawuk. And if you want to have a look at it, please have a look at that. And what I'm doing is putting it into the pita bread with the uh, chicken kebab. And it's going to be unbelievable with that and a little bit of chili sauce as well. It's going to be unbelievable. You can use it with lots of other things. You can just use it as a dip. You can add it to vegetables. Any type of meat is fantastic. This lasts for four weeks at a time. So you've got it in the fridge for a long time. So there's a lot of work involved. It takes probably 40 minutes to actually make. But you've got to keep it then for four weeks and you can just have it whenever you want. And I guarantee you if you're into garlic and you like garlic, you will go crazy for this because it's that good. So I'll put some into the tub. I'll show you what in the tub. I'll pour it out and see the consistency. And then um, I'll end the video. So there you have it. There's the tomb. It looks absolutely fantastic. And you can see it looks like um, that ice creamy type of texture but you can use this on anything. A lot of work, but absolutely well worth it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon on the next video.